you possum people, it's me Grime Pan here. Welcome back to our Wars 101 Balance Walkthrough. If you guys remember last time, we have returned after a year, honestly. It's it's been a long time. Ah, good. You have retrieved the dynamos. I will replace them and recalibrate the sensor now. Done. With the network back online, I should now be able to remotely hail Captain Pork at base camp via my communicator badge. Spark to Pork. Come in, Captain Pork. Captain Pork, do you read me? Ah, there's a gremlin in my shirt. Oh, wait, Spa, was that you? Hello, Spa, did you tinker with my crew badge again? The communicators are indeed working. And believe it or not, we have the severing of the fire and ice paradox chain to thank for it. You see, my sensors have serendipitously collected data which shows a dramatic reduction in the ether in the air, most notably around Athenor. The decrease in atmospheric animositrons confirms the ether is the physical residue of the ancient clash between Raven and Spider. Yeah. The paradox chains appear to attract the ether and even bolster its volatile, violent nature. The negative energy is what keeps Raven and Spider away from Imperia. Ergo, breaking the paradox chains is bad in that respect. Conversely, the diminished ether has greatly simplified travel, and as you just witnessed, created fascinating communications capabilities. I programmed our crew badges to function as communicators. I took the liberty of fashioning you one as well. You are most welcome. Now, there are a few security updates I must make to this sensor. If you need me, you know how to find me. Please brief Pork on my status. Yeah, so... So the Aether is... Uh, so the Aether is pretty much... Like, decreasing. Because of this fight between Raven and Spider. And like, and like with the, with the fire and ice chain broken, it's, it's pretty much caused the Aether to get a bit weaker. There you are, I take it by your long absence and sparks startling apparel based communicate that you got his sensor network working. And our badges are now communicators. Fantastic. Now I don't have to go to Mandala. Uh, that is, now we can split it up, get more done. Research assisting isn't the only thing I've been up to, you know. I've got a solid lead on that dirty, no good, rip them crossing coward bat. The traitor thinks he can hide in the one place we wouldn't think to look for him. But didn't think that I would think he thought it. I'm sorry, but you'll have to get to Malori. Mandala la la la. On your own, don't be scared. <laughs> Believe in you, wizard. And you too, beans. On the mandala la la la. <laughs> yeah, great pep talk, Jimmy. Look, wizard, Malori's vitals are dropping. We've got to get to Mandala now, but shouldn't fly in blind. Lucky for us, I did some research of my own. Ignis told me about a Kalamar village on Mandala called Samsara. Apparently, there are monks there acutely devoted to life and death magic. Hopefully, they can help us get Malori to the right spot. Don it beads, you're a doctor and an intelligence officer. Good work. You three should get to Samsara immediately. Come on, I'll help you push Malori to the pod bay before I head to Xanadu. Yeah, so Mandala is, um... It's basically a ring-shaped jungle. And there's a village right at the center of it called Samsara, which is home to the paradox chains of life and death. And uh, the monks who live there, they act pretty hipsterish. Look for Samsara village and don't get stuck talking to the locals. Got it. Let's get going. I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to those landings. You okay, wizard? The stream portal's up and running. Now that we're here, we need to get Malori to this Samsara place. It's not gonna be easy to find, though. The jungle's so thick it could be right in front of us, and we'd never see it. 
That looks like a path over there. Go see where it leads. I'll watch over Malori here. Be quick about it. My abs are killing me. Yeah, be your no man. You're no man, but I love ya. Oh, of course. Imperia's part two's been released out for a few months. Oh god, these things! I forgot about them! Oh fuck! <laughs> I forgot about them! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I forgot about these things be existing! <laughs> oh boy! I don't like these things not one bit! <laughs> Can't put like a face on one of them. Also, I did remix this theme, but it was like it was hard for me to do because like it was swingy. It was a bit swingy, so um Put a blade storm on, and then I think I can. I think I can attack him. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> you little snake! Ah, oh, shit. It's fine, it's fine. Ooh. Are you done shooting fire beetles at me? Cause cause literally I'm getting sick of it. Actually no, keep them coming. The weak. Christ, oh my gosh. Get him good. Oh, 
Are you kidding me? You little fucking snakes! something. Oh, there's more of them. More giant ants. Of course. That's my last potion. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Coming, come on. Wait, what? Since when do I have a boost? When did this happen? I have no idea when this happened, but I'm casting fucking Legion Shield. <laughs> I can't risk it. <laughs> Okay then. Okay, let me put one last balance blade. Okay, then I can then I can take care of these guys. <laughs> these guys are being a pain in my ass.
I can't take these guys seriously. I'm getting sick of this. I'm getting really, really, really sick of this. Just, I need, I need a fucking myth minion. Take these guys out. I can't take it anymore. you don't oh no you don't oh oh okay ow There we go. Oh, Finally, get fucking rid of this thing. Hopefully there shouldn't be more. I think I remember. There shouldn't be more after this. If there fucking is, I swear to god. I don't want there to be any more. Oh my gosh. Whoa, who are you? Look out! <sighs> Alright. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna need to get these fucking I'm gonna need a fucking life minion over here. <laughs> Get a storm person in here. I'm sorry if I'm cheating. I just. <laughs> I don't like this at all.
Okay. There we go. So this is a bummer. Let's get back to a safe clearing and I'll explain. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, the jungle's vibrations are calm here. We can talk. I know it looked like those frogs were gonna hurt me, but they totally weren't. You're strangers, I get it. You don't know how we do things. Life and death energy constantly shifts and swirls through the jungle. It's really amazing. I was preparing the grove for a death influx, see? Ah, now I have to start over. The fight totally harsh the vibes there. No worries, I can do it. You just gotta be more careful, you know? Sorry for the confusion, but we're in a hurry. We need to get this girl to Samsara and get her medical attention. Samsara? It's close, but you'll never get there on foot. We live above the jungle, in the sky. You'll have to fly. Take my sky boat. When you get there, find my man Cole. He'll welcome you. You'll love it there. Looks like all of us will fit. Barely. Let's go, wizard. Yep. Jesus, I really love this place right here. Come a long way to get here, haven't you? Welcome to Samsara. To our limited perceptions, time is a line from the past to the future, life and death. They look like two different things, but they're not. Th these guys are all weird. They're crazy. They're From weird. From outside a mortal vantage point, existence is a flattened circle, a wheel. Raven made the ring of mandala to remind us of that forever. This is Samsara, the center of my people's great work. I sense something very important brought you here. How can we Calamar help? This girl is dying. She needs your help. 
The chain is why we're here. We need to fill her with the chain's life magic to keep her alive. Why do you want to do that? Death is just a part of the cycle. You have to free your minds. Go talk to our elder. She'll help you. Yeah, these guys are apparently like they're part. They think they're one of these people. They're one of those people. Greetings, stranger. I have seen your coming before in my meditation. You have an amazing aura. Yours is a mighty destiny. You have come to prevent a death. Oh, you do not understand. Life and death are not opposites. They are different segments of the Great Wheel. So why not let this girl die? It is the way. The wheel spins. The matter of her body will nourish new life. This is not to be feared. You don't understand. This isn't just any girl. If she dies, it could mean the end of everything. What do you mean? Let me look into the girl's aura and see if I can see what concerns you so much. This is the raven, child. If she dies, light will be lost forever, and the cycle itself will break. I understand now. You must take her to the Cave of Quickening, where the chain focuses the power of life magic. Cole will arrange it. Wizard, I want to consult with the Elder a little more. You go get ready to go. I'll catch up. It's like, it's like, these guys are like those people, those hipsters, those, how do I put this? People who have their own religion upon life and death. About how they think life and death are pretty much the same thing. Some people think life and death are opposites. Some, think, uh, some say to live your life to the fullest. Some say... So, uh, some say it's inevitable, so why, why should you fear it? It's like, it's weird. It's like, it's like pe people question a lot. Uh, people don't ask these things often because they don't know when their time is going to come. You convince the elder? All right, all right, all right. What you're doing must be really important. You need to get to the cave of quickening. Here's how it works. Life energy shines from the temple of life onto the great wheel at the cave of quickening but the wheel moves at this time the cave of quickening is in the middle of the dying jungles where death energies are strong you die without protection you need to be purified talk to gaja in the market he can help I love this random music that like, like, kind of cuts in most of the time. The dying jungles? Oh, very dangerous. If you want to keep the death magic of the jungles from withering you, you must purify your body and balance the life magic within yourself. I sense powerful energies inside you. You might be strong enough to resist the aura of death, but it's best to be safe and sure. In our hanging gardens, we use sagram seeds. They're ground into dust to rejuvenate blighted soil. They will harmonize your life energies. Go to the gardens and cover yourself in dust from the red, gold, and black urns there. Then return to me. Okay. okay, oh god, <laughs> wrong way. This place is very confusing.
It is done. Now you are ready to descend into the jungle. The dying jungles are far away. Too far for you to reach them on the ground. Talk to Losa, the wind driver. Her skyboat will take you. All right, wizard. We're ready to go. Lead the way. Wait, I have to do what with magic dust? Oh, boy. Keep going, wizard. We'll catch up. I will make sure your friend finds his way to you. Go now, and good luck. Yeah, I can take you down to the jungle, absolutely. First, I need to harmonize with the wind spirits and commune with my ancestors. I figure we'll take the updrafts over the clearing of contemplation, then cut across on the west breeze to avoid the headwind. Oh, you're in a hurry. Okay, jump in my boat. I'll get you there. It'll be a little bumpy. Zola, this stranger needs our help. They're going to the Cave of Quickening. Peace and harmony be upon you, stranger. You walk a dark path. Your aura is mighty. Cosmic forces swirl all around you. I see you're touched by Sagram dust. That's good. Your life essence is pure. To reach the Cave of Quickening, you must pass through the Ashen Cave. They are overgrown with fungus born of death magic. Their spores kill all who breathe them. Your aura might protect you, but any who walk with you will surely perish. Sagram dust is not enough. There is an antidote, fruit of the Gulmahar tree. It will harmonize the death energies in your body. Go to the dying glade and get some. Okay. Oh yeah, we gotta go in here. Ah. Uh. I guess we're, we'll leave this episode right here. Uh, next time, we'll go in here. Uh, but for right now, thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you guys did enjoy this episode, why not be a awesome person by high-fiving the like button. I will see all of you awesome people in the next video.